The 2013 Beaver baseball team accomplished a lot. They won a program record 52 games, a Pac-12 championship, and came to Omaha for the fifth time in school history. But their season came to an end on Friday with a 4-1 loss to Mississippi State. Rough not, not knowing that this team will never play again, play together again. We had it all. I mean, we had a chemistry. I mean, we had talent. I mean, when you mix the talent and the team chemistry together like we had, uh, it, it makes for special things. I thought we had this game for sure. I mean, all of us were confident. We're all confident in one another. So there's, we all came into this game thinking we would win, you know, and just disappointed we didn't. Very similar feeling to LSU um, last year. And that motivation brought us here. And, uh, you know, it's the same. You know, it sucks to go through that same thing again. Very emotional, you know. Um, pretty upset. Um, a lot of guys that uh, I'm going to miss really a whole lot. It's tough. Last, last, last day at the yard. So uh, I'm sure Max said it. But, um, you know, uh, what, a great, what, what a great season to end on. I love these guys like brothers. And, uh, you know, to get this close, you know, you can taste it almost. Um, that's the toughest part, you know. I don't want to see any of them, uh, you know, crying or anything or, you know, getting down on themselves. They had a great year. When the team looks back on this CWS, ultimately what did them in was struggling with runners in scoring position. They just had seven hits in over 40 at-bats, left 33 runners on base in Omaha. Reporting from inside TD Ameritrade Park, I'm Stephen Nelson. Back to you. The first day of summer was also the last day of the season for the 2013 Beaver baseball team. They lost 4-1 to to Mississippi State in a game where they struggled to get the big timely hit. Just weren't able to move runners offensively, weren't able to, you know, get the right situation to happen. We hit some balls hard, we just couldn't really find any holes, uh, couldn't put any runs on the board pretty much today. They, they put up four, we couldn't match it. That's just the game of baseball, you know. Sometimes, I mean, we saw that at UW, you know, hit the heck out of the ball and just not going to go down for you. It's just a disappointing loss because everyone played so hard today. Everyone, you know, battled out at bats. So we hit the ball hard all over the yard and just <laughs> baseball gods weren't with us. It was also the last game in a Beaver uniform for several OSU seniors, including Matt Boyd, Danny Hayes, Tyler Smith, and Max Gordon. It was tough. Um, you know, you, you hug certain guys. That, you know, it's, it's over. It's just uh, sad. I mean, uh, this group will never get to play together ever again. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just tough to, you know, everyone's got to go their separate ways, you know. For the seniors that uh, came this close and um, with this Matt Boyd especially, with, with the way he threw the other night, you know, leaving it all out on the field, and um, it's really just heartbreaking. That's, that's the best way to put it. Baseball's over, but guys will never be forgotten. Game of baseball sometimes doesn't go your way. So, you know, move on and great season for us. And, uh, hopefully uh, every, we'll all be remembered for it. Ryan Barnes is another one of those key seniors departing this team, and I asked him about the future of Oregon State baseball, and he said with a core of Michael Conforto, Dylan Davis, Jace Fry, and Andrew Moore, it'll be a disappointment that this team isn't back in the College World Series. Reporting from TD Ameritrade Park in Omaha, I'm Stephen Nelson. Back to you.